it's Christmas week here and I was so hungry I just went and grabbed a burger uh, it's snowing here and I'm having a great time uh, advanced Christmas I don't know how do you say Merry Christmas advanced leave okay anyway advanced <laughs> happy new year <laughs> then that's a good one okay uh, I have a special video for you so stay tuned <laughs> What's up people, I'm Kaushik here. It's snowing here heavily and it's a perfect time to vlog a video. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I'll be showing you Europe information, education and lifestyle. <laughs> okay, today is an important day because uh, continental team, uh, most of you are wondering what is continental. Continental is a uh, multinational tire company. <laughs> Actually, they manufacture tires, but they are doing a uh, well uh, how to say a uh, well uh, awesome uh, in automobile technology also so they are going to start a new manufacturing plant in Kaunas here uh, my head is full of snow it's awesome they're going to start a new manufacturing unit in Kaunas that's where I'm currently walking at uh, the interesting fact about that manufacturing unit is that car you see over there it just got skittered it was drifting <laughs> okay so the interesting fact about the manufacturing unit is it's mostly automated yes from the storage area to the production area mostly it's done by robots yes what the hell are you man okay back to the topic mechatronics engineering uh okay but ah oh, it's snow here i think now you can see me fully look at the post it's okay uh, it's perfect uh, place and perfect opportunity to do internship uh, all, for the, all the students who are studying in uh, uh, me uh, mechanical faculty uh, okay. okay I had a personal five minutes talk with them in which they were saying <laughs> ah, it's no, in which they were saying about uh, internship possibilities so that video is right for you and uh, stay tuned till the end of this video because I'll be showing you one key important information you need to get uh, key important information that you can use to get that internship okay guys watch the video Shayan Ali, Lab Manager for Corners and Sir Bowen, Head of Electronic Plants and Continent okay so you say that six, most of the uh, production area will be automated how do you uh, train your employees for that since i find like uh, google classes they scan your product so if you train your employees right so is the process already started how you are doing it yeah so initial initial stage we are training people in our support location so mm -hmm. we have we have across the globe all the plants that are already in the advanced stage so for example in Regensburg, Germany, it's our competency center for Industry 4.0. So here, they are taking the lead in basically training people in automation and the robotics area. Uh, so in the first phase, we will be, uh, our first entry employees will go to these locations to get hands-on training. Eventually, the goal is that when our plant is running, yeah. we will have also a training lab. We will have a robotics lab in the plant. Okay. So we will be training locally. But oh, okay. So we build up the competency and then these trainers and the trainings become the trainers for the future. Okay, okay. So you start the production and start to train the Correct. in your company. Okay. The second question is what type of training? The training will vary from uh, you know obviously to learn the basic skills, to learn the programming, of course you have to have some competency in the, the programming method and the C date and so forth and you know the, the know how of the automation somehow. And then it will start with basics. And then it will be an advanced stage. So you will learn the operations of the, of the lines. You will learn how to operate the, the production lines, and equipment, and get more on the job training. Kind of so it's yeah. actually, uh, if you look, uh, it is important that the people learn by doing the job. So if you want to to learn how to work with the robot, then our approach is to go to one of our competence centers. We just mentioned. Is in Texas, in Germany, or in, in Korea. In there, you are involved in the project at the end. You are working there for a couple of weeks and months, and you are introduced in the cohort of the project. Okay. By 
getting the support from the tech people in this location. If you just know how you are then going to home, you can work with the technology. So, have you already started a few persons for this? <laughs> yep, we are, we are already starting the, the first uh, hiring process already started. So, now we are in the web shop. Okay, and then we are hiring for almost 50 to 60 percent is over. I am getting there. <laughs> okay, that's great. And do you provide internship uh, course it's Christmas starting? So, do you provide an internship at this time? Yeah, we will have internship uh, as the production is ramped up and we are we plan to opening. Then we have opportunity to do this. We do this across the globe anyway for all of the plans. We have similar programs because we are always trying to go the next generation talents. And the internship is a, it's a good program to be supported. Okay. I'm in addition, as I mentioned before, we have a lot of internships in our uh, sister plants in Europe all over, so people from here are interested to make an internship in one of our locations abroad and then start in the later in the location of the So you even accept your colleagues internship. Uh, so if I work with your sister plants, uh, I mean if I do some internship in your colleagues plants, not according in a sense of your subdivision plant, uh, I can easily go into your company? Yeah. Yes? Okay, cool. Uh, what do you recommend for us, like uh, mechatronics guys? What do you expect from us? Stay up with the technology because mechatronics has a huge future. As Dr. Brown also showed in his presentation today, that uh, you know, the uh, automation, uh, we're getting high, heavily automated, but it's more of collaboration with automation. Right? It's not like we're getting rid of people, we're actually going to the next phase of where you're actually interacting with the machine. Right? So this, this next generation mechatronics, just stay up with the technology. Make sure you are learning the programming languages, you are uh, keeping up to speed with, uh, with, uh, with the connectivity, mm -hmm. which is big. Anything else to add? Yeah, I think it's very important that this cross-functional thinking is a lot of important. And if you look on mechatronics technology, then placing is a very, uh, very common technology already, but combining it now with artificial intelligence, combining it with cohorts and thinking then what could be possible and what is out of the box thinking to make a new generation possible. That's what is the most important aspect. New generation factory. Okay, the last question. Uh, it's a tricky one. If 60% of the company is automated, how will you balance your employee reputation? I don't think we are saying how many persons it will be automated to be because it's too early for us to say. Um, because the technology, every product technology that is coming into the plant, they all have their uniqueness. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't necessarily go and automate <laughs> everything because it really depends on the balance of volume, mm -hmm. capacity, how much you are occupying in the, one, in, the, in the line. Because if it's a small volume, low runner, maybe there will be not much automation. Right? So it really varies from case to case. Of course, we have our standard equipment, standard processes, where we are applying all the standards that are being applied to all our other locations. So here, you have set amount of automation already baked in, and we carry that over. So I think it's very really, not really a clear answer to say 60 percent, 50 percent, because it's too early for us to say. Okay. But we can rest assured we don't go and do 90 percent of the right? It's, it's not possible because, as I mentioned, even the cobot that they look into it, it's a collaborative cobot. We need a human interaction also yes. to work with. Right? Yeah, yeah. Of you course, we look for efficiency. Yes. Efficiency always comes first. In manufacturing, all this is very key. Right? So we have to always be a balance. So that's yes. balance. Yes. Okay. And, and from my point of view, looking in the mechatronics, we, we have already a high automatization. And I think we will not, the industry for zero and all this technology will not be the uh, the purpose of getting a higher automatization in the production. I mean, in logistics, we still see a lot of potential that we can out in there. But at the end, industry for zero robots and artificial intelligence will, on the one hand, lead to new machine concepts and it will lead faster decision making based on big data in the production and at the end, to a higher utilization of our equipment. That's, that's true. That, that makes us important to look at around 400 different sea lines worldwide. And they are running today on a very easy 80%. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed that video okay there's a link down in the description which will direct you to the uh, internship uh, page guys don't be in a hurry before you if before you apply an internship over there you got to need you need to know a lot of things one uh, the in wait 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 yes it's gone okay one <laughs> the internship uh, before you take an internship you have to write an entrance exam oh fuck, it's cold wind Shit. okay two uh, if you fail in that entrance exam you got to wait for one more day it's not my bus okay you got to wait for one more day three all the best doing it oh shit it's really cold okay uh, it's really cool and uh, all the best guys and uh, see you on the next vlog I'm enjoying the time here it's snowing and it's Christmas peace out from Kaushik it's Christmas time and it's snowing and I'm having a great fun <laughs> it's snowing <laughs> oh, let me switch it's snow everywhere it's snow 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 road is also snow it's fully snow <laughs> it's white